So we left you last video here at Thurso Station, the northernmost station in Britain. So it's now a couple of hours later, and uh, since then we magically bumped into Stu here. Hello! And we are going to go ahead and visit a few of the stations in this sort of general area, which will be Georgemus, Wick, and Scott's Calder. So, shall we, uh, shall we go ahead and do it? Let's go. Let's do it. Ooh. Open sesame. So first on the plan is Scott's Calder, which you remembered before I did, which is setting a good example because we planned it. <laughs> yeah. This is your plan. Yeah. You didn't I know. know it. I know. This is this is going great already. Well, we've been through George Mus Junction. We've Hi Stu, how are you doing? <laughs> we've been through George Mus Junction. Uh, we've locked in Scott's Calder, so we'll be there pretty soon. Here, there's a, a pretty hefty step down. I guess we'll find out any second now. Oh yeah, that looks uh, rather rather low down. We'll uh, we'll give this a shot. All right, huh. there we are. Jump, nice. <laughs> well done. Well, yep. Yeah. So Scott's colder. We are in basically the middle of nowhere. This is, uh, this is very nice. I like stations like this. The data appears to be a bit awry. Apparently our train hasn't left for over a minute from now, although it is long gone now, so yeah. Gotta appreciate the nice old looking sign also they've got here, as well as the new ones, but you know, old ones too. Can't go without mentioning as well the request stop thing here, where we can actually press the button to request a train. Although, apparently you can't use them uh, more than 20 minutes before the next service, so we'll have to be patient, I suppose. Just in case you didn't already know, you were about to approach Scott's Calder Station. There's also a road sign indicating Scott's Calder Station. That is a uh, very, very straight road. Wow, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. Scott's Calder. I, I mean, I know, I know it's quite far away from most places, but if you have the opportunity, do come here. Would recommend. Right, well, it's now less than 20 minutes before. We've got the service here. So the request to stop to wake. It's turned green. So, and this is flashing green as well, so I'll give it a press. And there, stop requested. Service will stop at this station. Oh, that's great. Oh my god. I'm glad I've finally done that off. That's, that's a nice thing ticked off the bucket list now for me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll let you do it next time. <laughs> well, it will. It'll be a while before we get to get another request stop. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully it won't be too long. You yeah, know, I am starting to get a small inkling that the train is not arriving at 14.03 and is in fact not on time, given it's now 14.04. Hmm. All right, I think it worked. Train's stopping. Thank you, machines. No, so close. What a shame. All right, time to... Nice. Right, well, we're not going to be on this train for very long because we're getting out now at George Mus Junction. George Mus Junction? So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to uh, quickly walk to the bridge to get a shot of the train from underneath it, because we think that might look cool. It's such a very surprisingly long path up to the bridge. You've got to go all the way down here from the station, then up and around, and then eventually you can get up onto the bridge. Just in time as well. We had like seconds to go until the train started leaving. That was well timed. Good job. So depending on whether you, what your definition of visiting a station is, like some people might say we have visited the station now, but others might say because we're going to get on the same train with the same head code, we haven't. So we're going to come back here later after we visited Wick 
and get a bus out. So those of you who are pedantic about it can say <laughs> we have actually visited yeah. the station. Also, the fact that we get some actual time here and we're not just immediately rushing off to the bus stop that's quite a ways down the road. <laughs> so both of those things get sorted. <laughs> Not been able to see this anywhere else yet, but they've got one of the token exchange things, or to uh, token obtaining things, right on the platform here, so I can finally look at it up close. I don't know what it means when the blue light's like not flashing or is flashing. Probably something to do with the fact that the token's been obtained or not. This is George Miss Junction. This train. This train is so empty now that I guess it's gone to Thurso. So yeah, everyone here will just be for a week. All right, well, goodbye, George Mus. This is not the last of me you'll see. Because, I mean, we have to go back to actually get back to Thurso in the first place. And also tick it off for any of the, 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 the pedants who might not tick it. Yes, she was waving, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, so it has to be a different head code, so yeah. We'll satisfy that as well. Well, at least for us, once we've finished Wick, that'll be the entire Far North Line. Well, ridden down, at least. Yeah. What? So, yeah. What? That's a former oh. station, clearly. Old <laughs> station. We've, well, I, I didn't catch it on camera, but we went past the former station. <laughs> but yeah, entire Far North Line. Very nice. Something ticked off for me. Only the West Highland and the uh, Kyle of Lockhouse Line to do. Oh yeah, got those to look forward <laughs> to in the future as well, haven't we? God. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's like Thurso's twin. Yep, the station is literally just basically Control-C, Control-V of Thurso. <laughs> nice. So we've got, well, exactly an hour here. May as well use the opportunity to take a look around. See the sea! See the sea! We've made it to the sea. That's one thing done. Uh, what next? Spoons. Pop. Spoons? Well, it's, no, not, oh. no. <laughs> it's not a spoons no. anymore. I the forgot you spoons. said it's a former spoons. I wonder, I wonder who's taking us to that. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's one thing that would make this place better? <clears throat> if it was still a spoons. You're damn right. And we're back at the station. Nice, right, let's carry on. Right. Oh. Here we go again. Nice. So, are you excited to go to George Bus Junction again? Well, I'm excited to leave George Bus Junction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by by definition <laughs> of like you know different head code, we've technically not visited George Bus Junction yet. Technically. Yeah. So yeah, we probably should do that. As if we get there on the train and then leave on the bus, that counts. So yeah, you can <laughs> finally get that done. Thank you. Surprisingly, at you know, even even though the station's like really remote and everything, you can still fill a bottle of water here. They've, they've got a tap. Refreshing. So, time to walk for like 15 minutes to the bus stop that should hopefully get us back to Thurso. It's increasingly windy the further we're walking down here. I, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think what's going to be like up there. So, um, believe it or not, this is a bus stop. I mean, there's nothing to indicate that it is, but it is one. Uh, we'll just have to make ourselves known, I guess. All we're seeing is buses that are going towards Wick. The universe is beckoning us to go back to Wick. <laughs> can we, just, we can just barely see it in the distance. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yay. We can see the headlights. Hey, woo! There's a bus. There's a bus. Let's go. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and hail it down. That's a good idea. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's a coach, not a bus. Close enough. There we go. Hey! Yeah, we're indicating. Let's go. Oh, 
It is so much warmer on this coach than it was outside. <laughs> and a lot less windy. And windy, yeah. God. Also, I have become so accustomed now to like the two pound fare cap in England. But now the four pound bus fare is like, ah, oh no, ah. And we should just be coming in next to the station now or at the bus stop that's nearest to it. Thank you. Well, we're at a uh, bus stop that's now right down the road from the station. Yeah, so that was cool. Nice. We got uh, George Mus, Wick and Scott Scalder. Not in that order, but we still got them. Very nice. So yeah, that was fun. Uh, thanks to Stu for randomly appearing in Thurso to join us. <laughs> oh, totally planned that. Yeah, uh-huh. To completely, completely. But yeah, so uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you for supporting the channel.